Now this stuff here is called living rock, which creates the support structure of a reef aquarium. And it's basically the what's left of a live coral. So a live coral excretes calcium carbonate and creates a building block to allow the coral to stay competitive and not get overshadowed as far as light's concerned. Now you can see that here there's a coral that's dying off and then once the coral is dead what is released, what is left is calcium carbonate and that calcium carbonate is what forms this rock and the reason why it's called live rock is it was originally live coral and it's um, taken from a reef or fragged off um, that falls off the side of a reef and it's full of microorganisms, bacteria, algae, corals so it basically gives you the worms in the compost heap so to speak as far as setting up a reef aquarium is concerned so you put the live rock down and the live rock creates the structure to the reef then you come along with your corals and you put your corals on top of the live rock and then that's what essentially becomes the reef tank so the live rock is the support and the corals are basically the feature so on the outside of the rock you've got microorganisms amphipods, copepods, all these different little crustaceans and things mainly microscopic and they all assimilate organics help to clean up the aquarium just like the worms in the compost heap also lots of worms various things that are in this live rock little shrimps some visible some almost invisible and then you also find nitrifying bacteria on the outside of the rock and then due to the porous structure of the rock you often get denitrifying bacteria that grow inside the rock that help to get rid of nitrate as well but you will find using live rock for filtration um, quite varied because from one piece of rock to another piece of rock the density of the rock is obviously going to be quite different so the types of bacteria that grow on the inside of the rock is quite varied so you'll get some tanks that run on live rock that run with zero nitrate levels without a problem other aquariums run on live rock need help um, from media such as that which is marine pure now the advantage with marine pure which obviously you can run parallel to the live rock is that the marine pure has got a consistent porosity to allow the formation of denitrifying bacteria inside the light inside the media so you've got your normal bacteria that breaks the the high level fish waste ammonia and nitrite down into nitrate then the nitrate diffuses into the media and the nitrate is NO3 which is one particle part one part nitrogen and three parts oxygen so the nitrate is actually used for the respiration of the bacteria that grows inside therefore breaking down the nitrate so basically these are the corals the corals go on the live rock and that's essentially what creates a reef aquarium you don't have to have good lighting, you don't have to have any specific conditions for the live rock but the colour of the live rock and what grows on the live rock is a reflection of the conditions so if you have nice high calcium good magnesium good KH and pH your live rock should go that lovely purple colour on the other hand if your phosphate level is too high that's when it goes green or red slime or yucky so if you're keeping live rock as with every single aquarium you really want to keep your, nit your nitrate and phosphate levels down because your phosphate is going to be the killer that's going to cause you algae problems because remember algae is not a problem phosphate is a problem you fix the phosphate and that fixes the algae the other thing is when you first put the rock in the tank the rock will be fresh so various organisms sponges and things from the transport will die off and cause ammonia then the bacteria will grow that breaks the ammonia into nitrite into nitrate and that process takes about three weeks and at the end of that three weeks the live rock is what's called cured which means it's been in the tank for long enough to be stable enough 
to actually be contributing to the filtration as opposed to um, decreasing the water quality. So you need to cure the live rock and you need to cure the live rock without fish. So you put the live rock in first, you wait for your ammonia level to go up and then down, nitrite to go up and then down, and then you're not, you get, once you get your nitrate you can do a water change and consider adding your fish. If you put live rock in once the tank is established, that's okay, but you only want to put in a small amount at a time. So then you don't cycle the tank again. Anyway, if you get any other questions, just put a little comment underneath this. And, um, and if you've got any requests for videos that you would like me to make, such as this is a request, then I'll knock them up for you.